Hello. Can I interview you two ladies from my YouTube channel? Maybe? Can I interview you two ladies from my YouTube channel? Sure, we actually do the same thing. You're YouTubers? Yeah. Okay, really. What is YouTube? Interesting. Yeah. Let me tell you what it's about. That's your partner? Okay. So it's about your feet and mental health. Absolutely. Yep, that's how it works. <laughs> it really does. <laughs> so what's your YouTube about? Um interesting. Yeah? Are you are we live? I'm recording right now, yeah. I, so I record my approaches. I'm gonna explain to you exactly like what it's about and everything. This is so interesting. <laughs> so let me know when y'all ready. I was just saying that my life is very serendipitous. <laughs> serendipitous. I love serendipity. You tell him when we're ready. Um. Okay. You ready? Yeah. All right. Let me see the sunlight. I like how you got your camera position. Oh yeah. Right. I'm gonna face you this way so the sunlight is on you. Like no, this. My sis, my sis joined too. Alright, y'all ready? Come closer. Our feet and mental health. Yep. So how do we get to this moment just now? How did this come about? What do you want to know? How did we get to this moment? We're still sitting here you right made now. choices and decisions. Mm -hmm. We chose to show up. Okay. Why are you doing your YouTube video? Why am I? What's this YouTube you video chose, about? You chose to, to entertain it, to mm -hmm. perpetuate it. What's the subject matter? What is our feet and mental wellness? There you go. Okay. Our feet and mm -hmm. mental wellness. Exactly. So notice the, the terminology in the wording. So mm -hmm. not mental illness, not mental health. Right. Mental wellness. I, I use the word mental health though. Yes, I know you did. Okay. Right. But you're saying mental wellness. What's mental the difference? Mental wellness. The difference is how we speak and what we're putting out there, what we're projecting. Mm -hmm. Mental health, yes, seems all encompassing, right? Mm -hmm. But I believe, I, I deal personally in my life with someone um, who has challenges with mental wellness. Okay. And um, so I'm learning to change my my verbiage mm -hmm. um, because I feel that it is helping him along. I think I think there's um, stigmas and uh, certain. It can have a person feel a certain way with the terminology that we use. So you're saying it's better to use mental wellness rather than because mental that's, health? That's what we're going for. That's the overall objective. Okay. So we're going for. Be I can get with that. With our word. Yes. I can get with that. Yeah. And uh, living in it, in that intention. Okay. Right? Daily, moment by moment, exactly. if, if we can, right? Mm -hmm. So, for me, um, we can talk about our feet and mental wellness, and um, it's interesting that you. Have come to come with this um, with this topic mm. because um, that's what brought us together, pretty much. That's exactly correct. Feeding mental wellness, really? And we've all more so the energy of it. Really? Yes. Oh, okay. And you need to elaborate on that one. How? How so? Well, my feet brought me to the beach. Okay. Her feet brought her to the beach. Okay. And we came. Our energies came together to support each other in mental wellness okay very interesting all Hi. right well let me tell you how i got into this into this like uh i guess mental yeah, why, wellness, why and... feet and mental wellness all right so i mean mental health do either of you have therapists do we have therapists? yeah no no you mm, i don't understand what that means do you have a therapist? Do you go to like a therapist, um, mental health professional? A therapist, in like a terms ps psychiatrist, of... psychologist. Okay, cool, sure, cool. I understand. It's because I see things in different. There's different ways. Therapy, like a therapist. Mm -hmm. Therapy life coach. Yeah, there's different yeah. therapists. You know, okay. There's different because. Um, so that's why I just asked. Okay. Just yeah. for clarification. Yeah, just for clarification. Like a psychiatrist or like I a psychologist. Can say yes and no. Like yeah. I don't have nobody that's. Tri like um tri like I guess traditionally or sitting down by the book, mm -hmm. not that term, not in that type of terms because right now there's a lot of unconventional ways 
to to handle things. Okay. And so, um, that's when when I when I when I answer a question that you ask me, sometimes it's going to be have an unconventional answer because that's the way how I view things. Okay. But no, I I don't have. I don't have a. Day. Okay, and you don't either. Okay, so. Besides, okay. So, <laughs> so a psychiatrist, mm -hmm. first of all, I'm extremely intelligent. Okay. So a psychiatrist would be someone, a medical doctor, mm -hmm. PhD, that you go to see uh, for medication. Understand? Mm -hmm. That's a psychiatrist. A psychologist is someone that you would go and sit down and possibly have talk therapy with. Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, there goes my bike. That's okay. That's fine. Um, Gravity. Hmm. Life coach um, is, I believe, uh, for people that feel like they've maybe graduated talk therapy. Yeah. And, um, you know, they're ready to go into the next step, the next phase mm -hmm. of their evolution um, as an individual, as a spirit. Okay. And um, so I believe that um, there are different stages to our mental wellness. Okay. Um, if a person chooses to continue to evolve in that process. Um, there are individuals who can stay stuck in the psychiatrist mm -hmm. um, space and mode and, and that works for them. Um, and it's okay because, you know, that's where they're at, yeah. right? Um, in their, on their path and their journey. Um, and some people will evolve and transition out of that. And it's very natural and that would be the the ultimate goal and the outcome hopefully for, for whatever individual that is mm -hmm. um, and then there are life coaches who um, I think all encompass with that uh, life coaches are you know they're not the psychiatrist because they're not prescribing medication but they're there for talk therapy they're there um, as a mentor as a pillar of support um, for the individual you know that is that is working to attain mental wellness. Mm -hmm. um, and um, a life coach is someone that always picks up the phone. You don't typically need an appointment or mm -hmm. a set date and time to, you know, to connect with that life coach. Um, any thoughts on that, Venus? I agree, you hitting it all on the nail. Okay. Are you familiar with dialectical behavioral therapy? DBT? Yes. You are? Yes. I'm, I'm somewhat aware yes okay so what's that mean you see what she's doing henna mm -hmm. so you're an artist henna artist huh yes okay well that's not all of who i am but that's an aspect of what i am okay so I my therapist taught me about dbt i do, okay. I do henna therapy really that's yes. really funny yeah okay awesome so with DBT, like for example, let's say if someone's suffering from like anxiety, mm -hmm. right. let's say they have a fear of approaching strangers, talking to people. Mm -hmm. So DBT will advise you to go out and actually talk to people do it. Mm -hmm. and to do it. Mm -hmm. Expose yourself to that situation where you're going to start to feel those anxious feelings. And then when you do, you do a self-assessment. Mm -hmm. You ask yourself, okay, what am I feeling? You know, what's the worst thing that could happen? Is there a threat to my life? Is there a threat to my safety or a threat to my health? If there's not, focus more on the positive outcome. Try to focus on something pleasant happening and to anticipate that something pleasant is going to happen. A different dial, create a different storyline. Exactly. Act shift the, shift the storyline from that, I guess, like the more negative, mm -hmm. which is more dense energy, you know, and then to shift it to a more like favorable. The one that makes you feel good makes you feel relaxed and calm. Right. They call it opposite action. Yeah. So if those feelings are wanting, making you want to withdraw, yeah. instead of withdraw, you engage mm -hmm. and think positive outcomes, right? And then um, after it happens, you keep a diary of what happened. How did you cope with it? What happened? How did I feel about it? And all those things. Keep a diary of what happened. And then uh, you can go back and review it and see if you need to, you know, basically modify some things or you know basically just to keep a list of pleasant events that have happened with yourself so with me I've always liked 
women's feet. I have an appreciation for women's feet. I find them attractive. There's a lot of guys out there who find women's feet attractive. But a lot of guys, there are some guys out there who are afraid to maybe communicate that because of the stigma that's attached to it. So, some people might find it weird. But you know, that's, any, that's anything in my opinion. Yeah, but I mean... I, I, me saying, I can say that before everybody, before mm-hmm. a lot of people participated in the vegan, yeah. veganism way, there was no... Like, I was I was vegan before mm-hmm. the, the, the vegan wave hit, and it was a total different experience for me, you know, so... Mm-hmm. Um, So people would look at me. I would feel like an alien. I would feel like I'm weird. Yeah. I'm eating a certain way that no one is eating like. Mm-hmm. Um, I even went to, like, I'll go to, I went to John's Incredible Pizza yesterday for my, my niece's birthday. And I just, like, and I had that feeling again where I'm like, okay, dang, I feel like an alien. Yeah. I have, I'm the only one that's asking for these certain things and being, um, and being conscious. Mm-hmm. Consciously asking for these things. And then me consciously asking for these things trigger other people's mind to think that way, like, oh, oh, so you're vegan. You're vegan. And then so they tried, you know, they had, they made me something that was vegan, but I just felt like, I did feel like an alien, mm-hmm. you know, I, and I felt like the, the weird energy. Mm-hmm. Well, you see, DBT can apply to anything. Uh-huh. And with what I'm doing is I interview multiple women to see what is your thoughts about your own feet and your thoughts about guys that like women's feet. Really? Yeah, to see, I get a whole range of varieties of reactions so guys can see, you know, hey, there are women who are open to it, there are women who are close to it. But you can watch my videos and kind of like anticipate different behaviors, mm-hmm. different, you know, be able to cope ahead of time because DBT also talks about coping ahead of time. Right. You can see different reactions so you can be able to basically do it in real life. Yeah. I like how you I like how you said with um, mental health and feet. Yeah. Because then you also said that you're recording it so then other men can see like the reactions and natural reactions from women so mm-hmm. you can kind of give like a positive encouragement and inspiration for them and that creates feel good feel good energy. For there you them go. To, you know, have validation. Validation yeah, that all human beings are yeah. looking for. Most, well, most people are looking. So it, for. it makes them less in, in, anxious right. to not try, and they don't feel like an alien. Yeah. See. There you go. So what I would say, and I'm a little bit different. Okay. And I can honestly tell you that. Um. First of all, uh, we are we are molecular energy. Right? Mm-hmm. Floating our meridians, our chi, our life force, our spirit, whatever it is that you want to call it, right? Mm-hmm. So, our feet are kind of like the roots yeah. of, of my temple, right? So, I look truly, I'm, <laughs> I look at things completely different than, okay. than a lot of people. And what I'm going to tell you right now is different than probably anything that you've ever heard about our feet. Okay, go for it. Yeah. So, think of your feet as like, you know, the your root system mm-hmm. rounding you, right? So, since we are energetic beings, molecular, cellular, energy, chi, spirit, uh, divine, light, whatever you want to call it, mm-hmm. okay? We get clogged up in there. Our mental wellness in our in our body, aches and pains and illnesses and sicknesses, right? Well, I think that's because we don't we don't really give ourselves on a daily basis the nourishment, the 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 mm-hmm. breath, the mm-hmm. the life, um, the circulation of all that gray stagnant energy right Mm -hmm. Um, we don't we don't we're not cleansing it we're not we're not cycling it we're not working it through our meridians in the way that we should be Mm -hmm. okay so 
I think of my feet as the root to this temple that I'm in. Mm -hmm. And I have a clear understanding that if I ground them, mm -hmm. that I can release, I can have a release of gray energy, negative energy, toxic energy. I can release that. Mm -hmm. And then I can bring in through the same roots, right? That I just released all of that through. Mm -hmm. I can then bring in the vitality. I can bring in the love. I can bring in the light. I can now begin to work that through my meridians, my okay. chi. So this is grounding. This is grounding. Planting your feet to the earth. And it doesn't necessarily have to be, you don't have to be standing on the earth. Mm -hmm. I, I could be sitting here right now doing this, what okay. I'm telling you that I'm doing. Okay. Okay. But also, I believe that the more that you work on your mental wellness, mm -hmm. I believe that there comes a divine alignment with an individual. Yeah. And eventually, it becomes a very natural process. Okay. Right? It's not a step-by-step -step process. It's a divine process. And... What do you think about guys who have an attraction to women's feet? What do I think about that? Yeah. I don't think anything about it. You don't think anything about it? I think it's to, to each his own. Okay. What about you, Miss Venus? Well, I was answering. I was saying that I like things with us. Um, may you repeat the question one more time? What do you think about guys, men who have an attraction to women's feet? What do I think about men liking women's feet? Mm -hmm. I feel like sex is shamed here. Right? Where? In a way where. Is shamed in a way in America. Sex is shamed in a way where, like we, we don't feel comfortable in expressing ourselves sexually because it's, someone is going to judge us. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so that judge, that judgment. There's no freedom in our sexuality because how I want to express myself sexually or how someone else wants to ex express themselves sexually. Somebody is going to have a, a harsh judgment about it, and and then that brings shame energy, and then that restricts other people from being able to really express themselves like how they how they're drawn and pulled to do so, like how you're saying with men feeling un, um, I guess uncomfortable with embracing the fact that they're attracted to women's feet. Mm -hmm. I feel like. When we are really fully accepting of who we are yes. and our own sexual energy and everything of all which of what we are, then we're confident in expressing ourselves in any way, in any way possible, That's in right. any way, I mean, any 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 way that we can. That's right. Mentally, sexually, like our sexual energy is just gonna come out of us with each other to exchange the sexual energy. Uh huh. So then, when you have a partner that you share that energy. You know what I mean? Then I feel like that's something special that you guys can create. You can explore each other in all ways possible. Mm. So, that's my experience. Okay. So, would either you two ladies be receptive to a guy like wanting to give you a foot massage, rub on your feet? Is that what you offer him right now? <laughs> Maybe. I'm just kidding. But would you ladies be receptive to a guy who would want to give you like a foot massage, rub your feet, kiss your feet, smell your feet, lick your feet? Mm -hmm. You know, I've been there before with individuals. Absolutely. Yep. Okay. Um, absolutely. Yeah. And I've it's been reciprocated. Mm -hmm. You know, I don't I don't think that there's anything strange about that at all. Mm -hmm. um, but I do think it's up to the individual. You know, I'm not just going to let anyone slobber on my feet. You know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I think it's a. You know, for me, I think it's 
it has to align with me in, in a way that's intimate. The in, I was going to say it has yeah. to be the right there, type of intimacy. To, yeah, it does. It has to be the right kind of intimacy or it has to be my life partner who's playing around and, you know, uh, slobbering between my toes. So I think it's circumstantial. I think, I think it's based on the situation. Would I ever in my life allow you, a strange man, to walk up and ask to rub my feet, lick my feet, slobber on my feet, massage my feet? Um, I probably would not, mm -hmm. no, sir. And it wouldn't be for anything about you. It would be for me personally. Oh, um, I love there, that. There is, there, I, my feet are very special, my dear. They're okay. sacred. And they are sacred. And uh, I, do, I do sacred things with my feet. Okay. That, you, you would not if even you, believe if you do a if you do a, a, a feet detox. So a foot detox, yes, it yeah. detoxes you know your whole body. Yeah. So um, I think uh, I think it's circumstantial and situational. Okay. What about you, Miss Venus? I second that notion. You second that notion. Yeah. So when you said you wouldn't do that with a stranger, you have to be someone who is your life partner. You said. Uh, no, I'm not actually saying that at all. Um, I'm saying that um, if the connection was there, maybe you were a stranger. Mm -hmm. you know, maybe you are a stranger. Okay, and you said connection. Yes. What does that mean? Uh, if we're connecting. Uh, and it's, it's serendipitous. Right. You know? Um, then you know that that probably is a serendipitous encounter. Mm -hmm. um, Can you give me an example of what, how, what of a connection is? first thing to say to you would have been, um, I apologize for you not understanding the connection part, and it, it's hard because um, people know when they connect, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, like, right? Because it's so abstract though. It's so abstract. Abstract, yeah, a connection. It's abstract, it's, it is abstract, the word to say connect, yeah. in that term, but... Because we're communicating to each other right now, isn't that a connection? What's the difference? No. It's not. No. Okay, so please <laughs> because, educate because me. You can communicate with somebody all day and not, and then go home and never think about them again. Mm -hmm. Or, and then, because maybe you guys didn't have a connection, or you can connect with that person and, um, and it's like, it's like chemistry. It's like the connection. The connection has to be where your inner your energies are aligned. Right. The, where I love where. That. Yes. The energies are aligned to where, like how you said, the serendipitous energy. Everything just flows. Everything flows. Nothing feels forced. Mm -hmm. Nothing feels forced. And and um. Yes. Is the connection something that is within your control, or is it outside of your control? Can you will a connection? So I feel like initially, um, okay, wait, because connection can come over time, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So that's a really building and a connect, building the connection, mm -hmm. but it's building the energies. Right. You're, you're, you guys are sharing space a certain amount of time with each other. In, I mean, within each other's um, energetic fields. Yes. To where now, sometimes connections can be toxic though you know what mm -hmm. I mean like comf out of comfortability too yeah. so interesting because it's what you're familiar with yeah yes. can you yes. will a connection instantly I believe it, I don't believe instantly but I do believe that mm -hmm. you actually oh, can oh that's not true because we did because that's what happens for me can what do you, you mean will a connection instantly yeah yeah you can summon in connections it just depends on if with, you're embodying that with a stranger Oh, you, wait, will it, say it one more time? I didn't... Can you will a connection if with you, a stranger instantly? Instantaneously. It's possible. But it depends, it just depends on if you both are in that Thank will, you. that will yes. align in that energy. Thank you. Yes. I, and y'all gonna connect. Right. Y'all got right, that connection. Right, right. But if, that's what y'all... But if the other right. individual isn't able to do that, all encompassing, then I don't believe boom, instantaneously, I could connect, I could connect with you if you aren't open to that. So someone can be willing and the other cannot be. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Yes. Say it one more time. I didn't understand. Um, 
His question is. Will a connection instantaneously? Strangers. Strangers. What does that mean in another term? Say it. Yeah. Can you explain it in a different way? Yeah. You're saying it is. It is. It's, it is kind of a tricky question to answer. Well, I know. May you may you rephrase that in a different way? Okay. So you had said that you would be unwilling to allow a stranger to play with your feet in such a manner. It would have to be a connection. Okay. I see. So, so I'm saying, saying, well, do you have the ability to will that connection if you want it to? I do. Someone is willing, one person is willing, and what I'm saying, can you instantaneously will that connection? Or is it something that is outside of your control? Is something they say it's something that builds with time? Do we have the power to just to say, you know what, the connection is there. I'm willing it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we do. Yes. That is a yes. Yes. It depends on how magneti- how much magnetism that you have and how much how much how much belief and faith do you have within yes. yourself to will it in. The belief. Yeah. Because if yes. you only believe that, that's your reality. That's right. That's right. If if you only believe what? If you only believe what you believe, then that's what you perpetuate within your in your reality. And if I believe that a man is always going to do something to me wrong or if I'm, you know, that's my belief system mm-hmm. because of my experiences that I might keep, I might continue to repeat that pattern because, okay. because that's the energy that I'm perpetuating. I'm what if I believe both your ladies are going to show me your feet right now? What if I believe <laughs> that I'm that, okay, I'm not going to do that. If you believe that it depends mm-hmm. because maybe it can happen. Maybe I might just end up standing up and walking away, and you get a glimpse of my. Face. No, 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 not like that. Can you see? Right, right. Not I like that. Know. In a but way that I direct it. That's part of free will. That's part of the, the the game to play. You throw it out there, mm-hmm. and then it doesn't come when you. It doesn't come when you feel like when you will in some, something to your existence. Don't get it misconstrued to think that. It's going to it, it, it's going to be instantaneous or not because it could be either or. You when you the way to do it is you put the energy out the signal out and you let it go and it comes back to you. So if you if you ask like that you ask a question and you say it might be no you know what I mean because yeah. the energy is not there. Okay. So you have to have faith. You didn't even did you believe that I that we were going to show you our feet after? Or you had a slight of hit, or did you have a slight hint of like, oh, it was just a joke? Oh no no no! I always ask ladies to show their no, feet. No, but answer my question and what I just said. Yes, I believe. Yes, 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 yes. I always, like I said, I always anticipate a positive outcome. Well, what? It, what do you mean? Like, if I ask you, can you ladies show us your feet? Okay. That you will reciprocate. Okay. Well, and you said, and you said that, and you said the the women that you interview, mm-hmm. they've shown you their feet. Some do, some don't. That's interesting. But do you see how that's part of free will? Right. And you put the energy out, and like you said, you always, you always anticipate a positive outcome. So mm-hmm. since you carry that energy, okay, well now you're in a playing field of the probability. Okay, yes or no. Right. So, I feel like you answered your own question. How so? You answered your own question. How so? <laughs> you said, do you have, do you have the, can you will it or not? And it's like, and you can, but it just doesn't happen when you want it all the time. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's, pro- it's just when the energy is right. Right, but it has to be mutual. Yeah, because the mutual, the mutuality is felt. Mm-hmm. The mutuality is not is not felt. It's because the energy is not. Felt. Okay, is there mutuality here? In what aspect? In degree? Of you showing your feet? Oh, oh that. no! That actually, it's not. You know why? Why? Because now, this is not. This is very important now. This is because now. This is pivotal. <laughs> pay attention! Pay attention, y'all! Don't it's do this pivotal. at home. This is pivotal. Don't do what he doing. <laughs> <laughs> It's right. not gonna happen it's for you. No. <laughs> Lose that energy. Explain. Right. Lose it. 
Explain. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> and honing your feminine energy and embrace and come forth to an empress with respect. Okay. And with What does that mean? With respectful energy, integrity, and an energy where it's where she feels Love. Exactly, and not a piece Encouraged. of courage. Exactly, uh, uh, almost, you, almost, um, almost, wait, almost, um, almost, almost. Come. Uh. With the the knowing of respect, it's just more so just coming with. The I see you eyeballs of who you are. You know, I see you as who you are, and I respect of all who you are. Mm -hmm. And I'm not asking for nothing of you for my needs and my selfish gains, to, for my pleasure. I'm here to serve you. Right? A lot of people are self serving. So it's more so like when you come in that type of energy. What energy? Of, I'm here to serve you. I'm not here to serve me. I'm, or I'm, 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 or I'm here to, ser I'm here to serve, basically, yeah. So you not showing me your feet is serving me. Me showing you my feet is serving you. Right. right. That's what I'm saying. So her not showing her feet is serving, serving me. Oh, okay. Like oh. Myself. So you're saying you don't want to serve me. You want to serve yourself. Is that what you're saying? What I'm saying is that I'm always gonna serve myself because mm -hmm. self-preservation is key to being able to. To fulfill my mission here in my journey. So serving me would be so something negative? you would be something that you want because that's what you're seeking. Right. Right. And Is it, it positive or negative? And that's, it, it's not positive or, or negative. negative. Right. It's just more so information of where your energy is and where my energy is not. Right. Or where my energy is and where your energy is not. And the respect comes in where we can understand that. Okay. Yeah. What are your thoughts? I think we. I think we got a lot. Yeah. So let's we concise got, it. Let's concise it. I just bring it together. Just bring it together. Y so showing, showing your feet. I hope y'all got that message, y'all. Showing your feet Don't be to me would be come with a situation come with love come with respect to a queen to a goddess to an empress all the time and she will unfold and unravel for you oh, in all the ways possible beautiful, beautiful, but if you come to, to just come please yourself and suck up my nectar and not give to me mm -hmm. so what am i doing you are creating the platform Mm -hmm. For beings to be able to see how to engage with each, with each other and how not to, mm -hmm. how to come in genuine connection and how and and what's not, how to really genuinely learn to respect each other's energy and, and presence and purpose, and how to see their how and to see the other perspective of how there's lifeless connection mm -hmm. and people just doing things that they feel like works for them you know and so yeah that's all I have to say is I appreciate your time I appreciate you coming with the stimulation of thought you know what I mean and being able to share this I create videos Venus Sublime y'all <clears throat> on Instagram wherever but I really just plug myself into being a divine example of how important it is for us engaging with each other. Okay. Like, th there's always somebody seeking what you're seeking. You're always going to get what you want and in in fulfilled if you stay true to that. You know, if that's your heart, your true heart's desire. So, you know what I mean? Um, I feel like it's important for us to share and, and hold space for us to, to at least think for ourselves. And I feel like this it's been sacred. You've been holding this space for us to say what we feel, you know, and um, with no judgment. And that's important because that's how we grow. And at the end of the day, that's the message, you know what I mean? And so I appreciate you. 
Okay. Holy space for us. Empress energy. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so I'm wrapping things up. How did you feel about this interview, this interaction from beginning to end? Good about it? Yeah. Um, I appreciate you um, and your vulnerability in speaking about the DBT therapy. Mm -hmm. and that was great. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. Um, I think it'd be interesting. Uh, I don't know. I think I think it could have went differently. And um, I think it could have actually held a little bit more nectar. What do you mean by that? I mean... Because I was going to ask, like, do you have any suggestions of what, how it could have made it more pleasurable? Any refinements I should make? Any yeah, modifications? Well, from a feminine energy, think about energy when you approach any female. Yeah. Uh, you want to be in the right energy or else she's going to immediately not even pay attention to you. Mm -hmm. Right? Because she can feel your energy. She can feel what you're about. Before. So what could I have done differently? I'm, sure, no, well, I'm not saying I'm sure. They do the same thing, too. I'm not saying that you did anything wrong. Mm -hmm. right? I'm just saying that your energy was kind of like I don't wanna it's not it's not pushy, but it was like Can I ask you a question? Go for it. No, that's great. Let me yes. get my words together. Like to hear from you just for a moment you know like we're talking about energetics here mm -hmm. right? that's that's what we keep on going back to is, is the feeling of it right yeah so what i'd like to know from you right now if you don't mind and i, I yeah i know that this is all about us you know this but um you know why not right because so, it's about you too. because it's about you too right and so that's what i'm getting right now so i'd like to kind of engage with you for just a moment here, right? Are you comfortable? Go for it. Yes? Okay. So I would just like for you to share with me your thoughts on your feet. I'm asking you to talk to me, become really vulnerable about your feet. I've studied... And maybe you can then begin to embody mm -hmm. and understand exactly what Venus trying to explain to you mm -hmm. about the energy here when it comes to energy well I've studied reflexology are you familiar with reflexology the pressure yes, points sir. on yes, your sir. feet yes, sir. so yeah I go over my feet every night massaging different pressure points because our feet is connected to different organs of our body and when you apply certain energy certain force to those pressure points mm -hmm. it flows to different organs of your body <laughs> you know so yeah um, that's something that I do every night thank you yeah that's kind of now we're getting somewhere I feel like and I really thank you and appreciate mm -hmm. you for letting us into that okay like yeah I felt that it was yeah. good yeah and I needed to, I needed that you know thank because you. yeah I think it all the rest was Hollywood yes <laughs> Felt good though. So, what we did you get your words together <laughs> as far as what yeah. I could have done? Okay, go ahead. Well, what he's saying, like, as far as like what he could have done better. Yeah. This is what she was just expressing right now was from the beginning, the energy that you come in, it feels welcoming and safe and like, um, and like you're in an authentic space. Authenticity. That was it. Authenticity. Authenticity. Because when you started to when you when you were the last part of the video when you were when you were expressing like what you do when you were like when you were expressing I mean how you massage your feet. Yeah. And how you and how you love your feet is you said you love your feet. And then you explain how you love your feet. You said, okay, I massage it every night mm -hmm. and 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 why do i do that it does this and isn't it and so when you when you got into that space that 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 space you created was this was 
it felt like a safe space for us yes. to want to open up more and express more right. because you're open and, and expressive you know what I mean mm -hmm. you're authentic with your authenticity what you do what is part of you and that brings out the humanness energy of the vulnerability being able to let energetic guards down yes 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 okay so just that. Everything else, you know, and not to be so pushy about asking people to see their feet. You said don't be so pushy about asking people to see their feet. <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, but like, um, just like I said, that like the authentic approach and energy that you hold in your body, it makes it makes women feel safe to express themselves. Okay, well, I appreciate that. Anything else? Any parting words before we end this? <laughs> You, I'm sure you do many interviews, yeah. right? Yeah. And you have many different things you take away from it. And you learn, I'm sure. You, you have different um, connections mm -hmm. that you make. So from our particular or specific interview and energies that, we, that we've been holding in this space, um, how did it make you feel? You know what I mean? And, and what do you think about it? Every interview I do is like an exercise mm. for me. Again, this is this is DBT right. in action. Love it. You know. Yeah. So Ashe. you have added to my journey. Yeah. It's a journey yeah. that you go through. Mental wellness, as you say, mental health. It's a journey, and you have contributed to my journey in a very positive way. I name every video that I put a pleasant event diary every every video i put out even if, if it's you know some women come off very different right. you know yeah you get a whole different range but i always say it's pleasant because it's adding defensive maybe defensive sometimes we gotta it, sometimes it's them. but it's all but, yeah, but everything every experience is a learning experience right so i'm learning something from you you're adding to my journey you're adding to a whole lot of people's journey because thousands of people are going to watch this thousands of people are going to watch this and so people from all over the world imagine that right. people from all over the world are going to hear your words and it's going to affect people in, in so many ways maybe we should start over <laughs> you know I'm joking, I'm joking. Yeah. this was very raw and very organic yeah yeah so that, that's part of our journey too mm -hmm. is accepting the fact that what we do share our our truths that we do share Acknowledging that it does, that it may, that it does, and it can affect other people in a big way. Just by us being honest and open and vulnerable and authentic, we never know who may need that space. We never know who may be feeling the same way that we're feeling or thinking the same thoughts that they, that, you know, that work that came up and they don't have no one to share it with, you know, because they don't feel safe to do so. Or they have... You know, basically, yeah, they don't feel safe to do so. Mm -hmm. So, um, like I said, you know, I this is what I do. I love, I love to hold space and share. I, I hold space and I share with my brothers and sisters and, and, and different beings that are on their journey to to better themselves. You know, right. and seek deeper connection right. Right. within themselves. And then they're they're just drawn to all these different beings that, to me, it reminds me. That I'm on the right path, that I am in alignment. Mm -hmm. Because when we began the video, like I said, I was like, okay, this is an alignment because the divine has been telling me it is, it's time for you to do more videos. Or do, you know what I mean? And, and I was just telling you that. This is the first one I've ever done. I just met really? her yesterday. This is the first oh, really? one I've ever I just done met her yesterday. in my entire life. Do you understand? Well, I thought y'all really? been friends for and like I, forever. I've had an Instagram <laughs> That's what I'm for months and I've never posted a single video. Really? I, had no clue until today. Well, welcome. And it wasn't even of me, it was just of my surroundings. And then she wanted to record me for something, and, and I was I just, so uncomfortable. But no, I'm just saying, I was so very uncomfortable. Like, it just, I don't do that, right? Mm -hmm. um, I, in professionally, I get up in front of hundreds of people and I train them. But doing something like this, it's very hard for me. So 
and then here you are. Do you know why? And I'm doing a video. It's, I don't even know. I, I, I feel I can't even begin to tell you. You should have asked me that, how I felt about that. So but really, that's why it's like, you, the DBT, mm -hmm. I am putting it in practice right now for the very first time. And this is one of the things that I have, mm. that I have such a, you know, such an issue with. Mm. And you're in my face with it right now. And so you're helping me in real time. It's you know, showtime. That's right. And Action. so, you know, <laughs> you you, you've added such great value to my day. And this experience is that's therapeutic right. for me and it helped me. And um, I'm evolving and... Uh, you know, I probably won't have any more hang-ups about having a video or making a video anymore. You know, I think especially not hanging around me. <laughs> <laughs> that is so, beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> I think we should end it on that note right there. That's that's beautiful right there. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All Give right. us a blime, y'all. There you go. Plug <laughs> yourself. All platforms. All right. Take care. Thank you. Can I interview you too for my YouTube channel? Interview? Yeah. Um, sure. Okay, it's about your feet and mental health. Okay. Okay? okay? Can we sit on the grass? Yeah. Y'all have like 10 minutes? Yeah. All right, cool. Our feet? Yeah, feet. Okay. Yeah, mental health. Y'all just finished doing the yoga? Yeah. They have that every day? I think, yeah, they have it every day from 11 to 12, but I, this is our first time going. Okay, how was it? Good. It was good. I really hear it, but it was good. Okay. Might try that out. Let me see. Sunlight is there. Let's we'll sit over there. Alright. Actually, you know what? Let's sit over there by the tree. Okay. I'm just gonna put my scooter here. All right. I uh, forget it. It's wet. Oh, it's wet over here. Okay, let's go over here then. Okay, it's dry over here. Let me see. We're sitting down? Yeah. Let me know when y'all ready. Okay, wait, are you gonna tell us the questions you're gonna ask us? Or? Uh uh, it's gotta be spontaneous for the moment. Are y'all twins by any chance? Yeah. You are? Okay. Fraternal or? Yeah. Fraternal, okay. But I noticed though, y'all yeah. do look, look a little bit. Alright, so what just happened just now? How do we get to this moment? Um, we were walking on the ramp and then you came by and you scooter and then you asked us. No, we got out the way and then yeah. you slowed down and you were like, you wanna. <laughs> Some about mental health yeah, good memory. Okay, so why did you say yes to the interview? 
Because why not? Yeah, why not? Why not? Okay, I like that attitude. How do you feel about your feet? How do you feel about the subject matter in general? I feel good about my feet. I like looking at my feet. Really? Okay, so this twin likes looking at her feet. I like my toes. You like your toes. And with you, you kind of like what? I, I like other people's feet. I like, you can just keep those to yourself. What about your feet, though? Your own I feet? feet fine, your yeah. feet are fine? Okay. How do you feel about guys that like women's feet, that are into women's feet? Um, I feel okay about that. Okay about it? What about you? I think if it's like just overly into it, then... Yeah, right. Good. Like yeah. if they're like willing to pay money, no, yeah, yeah, bye. Good. If they're willing to pay money... To like That's too much. Why is that? Uh, like why? Like why are you gonna? Why do you want that? It's just weird. Yeah. This is weird to you. Okay. What if like a guy wanted to give like a foot massage or whatever? That's fine. That's fine. on your feet, lick on your feet, smell your feet, and things like that. Smelling? Yeah. I guess smelling is. Well, I mean, okay, let me back it up and give you some background. Do y'all have therapists by any chance? Therapists? No. No? Okay. So, my therapist taught me about DBT, dialectical behavioral therapy. So, let's say someone is suffering from anxiety. Like, let's say you have a fear of approaching strangers, meeting new people. DBT will advise you to go out and to meet people over and over and over again. Expose yourself to that situation where you're going to feel uncomfortable. And then when you start to feel uncomfortable, you do a self-assessment, and then you ask yourself, I just interviewed those two. <laughs> I just, you ask yourself, what's the worst that can happen? Okay? If there's not a threat to your life, if it's not life-threatening, then you're supposed to act opposite to those emotions and engage instead of withdraw to get the most out of life. So... The whole purpose is to keep a list of pleasant events that you can go to to inspire you. Okay, so what I did is I created a YouTube channel. Instead of documenting by paper, I'm documenting it by video. My DBT experiences. Okay, so I've always had attraction to women's feet. And there are other guys that like women's feet as well. So my whole purpose is to interview different women to see what your reaction is to it. To see if you're open to it or closed off to it, so guys can cope ahead of time. Because in DBT, you're supposed to cope ahead of time. So this is a way they can look at the videos and be able to anticipate what the experience could be like. Yeah, so that's what the YouTube channel is about. What do you think about that? That's, that's, that's really interesting. Yeah, I like the background of it. I like it. Okay. So, um, can we see your feet close up? Close up? Yeah. Um. How close are you to get? You can see this one, not the other one. Wait, not close. <laughs> they look cute. Let me see. Can you take both feet out? My toes are really long. Wait, this is, I, I don't know about this. Why? What don't you know about? Because close up, yeah. I haven't had a pedicure. Don't matter. See, part of DBT is about mindfulness, okay. living in the moment, and not thinking like, you know, having a positive outlook right, on right, things, right. right? So you think you can do that? Yeah. You can do that? Okay, excellent. All right. <laughs> Push your both feet together since you're both twins. Push your feet together like that. What size shoe are I you two? Size 12. Size 12? And I you? Like 11 and a half, 12. We have big feet. You have big feet. And 12. But I like, you know what? They still, even though they're big, they ha have a dainty look to them. Like a feminine like look to them. Like they're skinny, yeah. like it's not like yeah. heavy and like short. Yeah. Exactly. And your big toe is longer than the rest of your toes. And that's Egyptian. Oh, really? Yeah. So when your second toe is longer, that's um, Greek. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> if your big toe is longer than the rest of your toes, that is Egyptian. If your second toe is longer than the rest of your toes, that toe, that is Greek. So, let me see. <laughs> this toe is longer, and that toe kind of looks... Sometimes people have... Greek on one side and Egyptian on the other side. That's interesting. Yeah, yours are both Egyptian. Okay. Uh, this is a Greek one. Alright, let's see your soles. Yeah, stretch your legs all yeah. the way out. <laughs> Wait, oh, I like that move. That's a good move. Oh, no. Can you feel like, come on, you just did some yoga. Get them core muscles up. <laughs> Alright, very nice. Alright, lay your legs out straight. straight yeah, straight like, like that. There you go. But um, how about this? You're perfect. You make like a triangle. There you go. There you go. This would be so weird if it would be 
So the fact that I explained to you everything that makes it more what? Yeah. Like if you just came up to us and started like taking pictures, then I would run away. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you like the DBT and the mental health aspect? Yes. Now that's very interesting. You're both twins. Let me get some close-ups. I like the fact. I like how your toes are like kind of smaller, like that. And then your big toe protrudes. And then I like that your toes are skinny. Thank you. <laughs> so you both have very pretty feet. You both could be foot models if you wanted to be. <laughs> Bring your toes down. Like you're making a fist. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Very nice. Toes up. Okay, wiggle your toes. Let's get some movement. There you go. Do some yoga moves or something with your toes. Yoga? I don't think there is any. Well, you can, they have like uh, yoga balls where you um, massage the arch to build your arch. Um, spread your toes out. There you go. Do some movement, stretches. See, for me, let me explain to you why I like it so much. For me, it's like a, it's like a natural way of dealing with like anxiety and depression. Like, whenever you go to a therapist, they usually prescribe you like medication, right, to like release serotonin. For me, when I do activities like this, this is like a natural release of serotonin for me. So, and for others as well, because I like you know natural medicines rather than artificial medicine. All right, can I touch your feet? No. Why not? <laughs> I don't know why. Just I don't think I like anyone touching my feet. Really? Okay, so let's talk about that. Why don't you like anyone touching your feet? I don't know. It's just like my feet, I don't like people touching my feet. So foot massages? You don't like foot massages? No, I like, well, like, I like foot massages, but like on an occasion. Like, you can't just be yeah. Random? Yeah, by a stranger? And I have to be like, can you massage my feet? And then, yeah. So, okay. We're out here. <laughs> enjoying this beautiful weather, it's a beautiful day, in the sun, and I just offer you a foot massage, you would turn that down? Yes. yes. Why is that? What's the worst that could happen? I don't know. I don't think, yeah, we don't know. But we also don't, we also just met you. Yeah. Okay, so I'm a stranger. Yeah. So. You're nice, but you're a stranger. So even though I'm nice and a stranger, it would be uncomfortable to let a nice stranger give you a foot massage? Yeah. Why is that though? Why is there? Yeah, literally. Anyone, anyone. Even, even like, why, like I just would be weird that you gave me. If you gave me a foot massage, I'd be like, stop. I don't think I want to. Really? Yeah. I don't know. I don't but know. I mean, a foot massage is designed to be pleasurable. Right. Why would you prevent yourself from a pleasurable experience? Because it has to be with a person that we like. <laughs> like that we know for like a or while. Someone that's doing it like professionally, like a. Like a manicurist, if they were to like massage my feet, like they massage your hands when they do your nails. They have to know what they're doing. They can't be like. So it would have to be someone that you know, or, or and or it has to be a professional, yeah. like, in order to. Good about, uh, about, like, yeah. so that's that's very like, oh, interesting. Right. Okay, yeah, yeah, like they know what they're doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very interesting. Wow. So if somebody. If I wanted to give you 20 bucks, just for no reason, you wouldn't take it? Because I'm a nice stranger? If you wanted to give us 20 bucks? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Why? Because that's, that's, that's just someone giving you something. Right. Like, and a foot massage is me no, giving you something. Your feet, though. <laughs> it's not really giving you something, but doing something. Yeah, 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 like action. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like, reflexology? What? Reflexology? So reflexology is um, there's pressure points on the bottom of your feet that are connected to your yeah. So it's like a, it's almost like a medical type of thing where it's supposed to like basically increase your well-being. Twenty bucks will increase your well-being, right? Yes. So why would you take the twenty bucks but you wouldn't take the foot massage? That's very interesting. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, that's true. Wow. Okay. Interesting. Let me take a few more shots. Wiggle your toes again. What do your feet smell like? Mine not smell like, like mine do not smell bad. My brother smell like grass. Smell like? Yeah. I just smell grass. Yeah. What do your feet smell like? Mine not smell bad because I was wearing crocs. Not flexible. And it was breathable. You're not flexible? Have her smell your feet. Yours don't smell bad either. Really? No. I think because we were out in the Yeah, we took our shoes off. Okay. Can I smell them? Sure. Now that I know that mine don't smell bad, yes. Alright, take a video of this. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. Come on, just get some yoga. So, you allowed me to smell your feet, but you wouldn't allow me to touch your feet. Now, what's the difference? Because, you know, I, I've done, like, a lot of interviews, like, wow. close to 200, maybe over 300. Okay. Usually, women have no problem with me touching their feet, but when it comes to smelling their feet, they're like, uh-uh. Well, You're the first people... Yeah, people probably don't know what it smells like, so they're like, oh, wait, I don't want to be embarrassed. But even the ones that smell their feet, they're like, yeah, it doesn't smell bad. They still don't want their feet to be smelled by a stranger, but they have no problem. Judge even if I tell them I'm not going to judge you. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're projecting their own ideas. Okay, because you're the first two I met that allowed me to smell but not touch. Wow. Yeah. All right, let me ask you a second question. Are we the youngest? Yeah, 18. Maybe that has something to do with it? 18's the youngest, yeah. Okay, what about allowing me to lick your foot? No. <laughs> no. No. No? Why not? Yeah. I don't think I would let anyone. Would you lick her foot? No. If I had to, if I was gonna get paid, then I would. Yeah. How much? Um, I don't know. But where are you wouldn't just foot? do it in the moment. No. What about you? I, I would do it, but foot. she probably wouldn't want me to. I would not. I would just. Be if I grabbed the foot and tried to lick it, she would kick me. What's the worst that could happen from doing that? I would taste them. It goes. My feet would be wet. <laughs> yeah, but then you just rub your feet in the grass and it'd be over. So can you do it? You don't Real, quick. Real quick. Real <laughs> quick. Also for your own good, just because. What if I touch the top? Just the top, just like, the top, just, like a, like, just like the arch. Lick or tuck? Lick. Oh, the arch. Just the arch. The part, the, the place that like where the toe. The <laughs> just the part that hasn't been on the ground. I would say okay, like. Okay, the top, the top. No, no, no. No, he said the arch. The arch, the part that hasn't been touched. Touch it with your tongue. Don't go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Make it easy for me. That's not the arch. That was the top. That's how I'm doing. That's Keep the doing. arch part. Oh no! Can you do it, hers? No. Just a little lick. It wasn't that bad. I will not be doing that. Okay. All right. <laughs> can I lick the arch real quick? No. no. So you let your sister do it, but you wouldn't let me do it. Yeah. What's the difference, though? A tongue is a tongue. Yeah, but it's the tongue that We shared the womb. Okay. What about you licking her arch? Yeah, there's no, yeah, she, I wouldn't lick my ass. What about the top? There you go. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? I wouldn't want to lick anything, anyone's top feet. Okay. All right, so, <laughs> wrapping things up then. What did you think about this experience, this interview? It was very entertaining, and I'm glad we, yeah, I got it, yeah. You glad you participated? Why? I'm um, getting like a new point of view, like. Yeah, we learned yeah. something new, and like. What did you learn? Yeah, and like vulnerability. Yeah. Okay. Especially regarding her. Yeah. Was there anything that um, put you out of your comfort zone? Were you able to overcome it? Yes, I let her lick my feet. Okay. I was not uncomfortable licking your foot. I was uncomfortable. Okay. So. How did you cope with it? Um, I was like, oh well, it's just gonna be like one second, then it'll be over. And it is, and it was. <laughs> okay. Do you have any suggestions or modifications of how I can make the interview better? 
how comfortable are you with like no but that's the point he asked them to ask you and then they had to answer yeah but then what if they just say no and what if they just walk away has anyone something? said no no to what like just everything no to yeah to anything like take your taking their socks off oh yeah yeah I upload those too because I like I told you I want to get like every, a wide variety of people's reactions and everything so anything else what about when I smelled your feet like how did that feel it was weird but like not to where it wasn't too weird like I don't think anyone's ever done that except for like when you're a baby and your parents are like oh. yeah yeah it's so cute yeah no one's ever done that it was the first time experience <laughs> okay any parting words? Thank you. Yes, we enjoyed it. We were just gonna go to the beach, but now we can go. Yeah, we had to pass our time. Yeah, there we go. That's what I was trying to say. Awesome. Thank you very much. One more thing. Can you can I get a shot of smelling your feet from this angle? One more angle. Of us smelling. Of me smelling your feet from this angle. Okay. Because I'm gonna hold the camera this time. Hello. Excuse me. Can I interview you two for my YouTube channel? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Both of you? What is it for? It's like? about your feet and mental health. Feet? Yeah, and mental health. Should yeah. Some you got some pretty toes, looking toes. <laughs> Can we still on the grass over there? Yeah. Alright, perfect. Awesome. Let me see. I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, how are y'all doing? Doing good? Thank you. Okay, let me see, that's good. So I'm gonna have you facing the sunlight. So let me have you both sit right here. Okay. Right there. Yeah, and I'll face you this way. Perfect. That's great. All right, have a seat. So let's get this show on. Y'all ready? Yeah. <laughs> Can you sit a little closer to each other? Like you love each other? Like you love each other, like your best friends. <laughs> All right, perfect. All right, so what just happened just now? How do we get to this moment? We were walking at the beach. Yeah. I was talking about our feet. Yeah. Okay. So how do you feel about the subject matter? I'm feeling pretty confident. Pretty confident? Yeah. Why is that? Dance. You're a dancer? Okay. Yeah. She's an athlete, but I don't, I've athlete. never sold feet quick. Like, wait, 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 what are we talking about? <laughs> really? <laughs> Very interesting. Okay. <laughs> We're talking about your feet. Oh, our feet. Yeah. What about our feet? Okay, what do you like about your feet? Everything. Everything? <laughs> yeah. So, do you think you have pretty feet? I think I do. You do? Why is that? Uh huh. Send me some more. Wow. So I'm okay. Kind of so that's pretty much an indication that you know you have pretty feet, right? Yeah. Okay. What about you? It's not happened to me yet, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, hey, you're on a YouTube channel now about your feet. Okay. I dance a lot. I like how strong my feet are. Okay. That's good. Yeah. How do you feel about guys that like women's feet? Yeah. Trying to like adore and worship and shit like that. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's whatever. I mean, I don't get how that like started. Yeah. But it's cool. What's the difference? You said there's a difference. What is it? Um, difference between what? You said adoration, yeah, liking, like, and adoration and worship. Turned on by it, that's okay. Completely like different than um, like oh I like nice feet. Like I don't want no like extra toe or something. Like okay. So if a guy wanted to like give you a foot massage. Rub your feet, smell your feet, kiss your feet, lick your feet. What category would you put that in? Um, he'd be my lover. Yeah. 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 Okay. You can be a freak with me. I'm okay with it. <laughs> See? Uh -huh. And for you? I mean, yeah, that's cool. It's cool. There's just some people that like me like, more than like, others. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know the extreme, like where they only get turned on by feet. Cool. Like, massage my feet. 
Yeah, okay. So let me give you some background about how my YouTube channel got started. Okay. Do either of you have therapists? Of who? Therapists. Yeah. You do? Okay. Do you? No, okay. So two. my therapist... Yeah, a counselor, yeah. A counselor? Okay. Friend. A friend? His friend was a, a, a therapist. But you've never gone to therapy? Well, he gave me like one or two like therapy sessions. Okay. I Okay, okay. So my therapist um, taught me about dialectical behavioral therapy, DBT. Are you familiar? No? So let's say someone has anxiety. They have a fear of approaching strangers, meeting new people. Yeah. DBT will advise you to go out and meet people and yeah. expose yourself to it and then do it over and over and over again. Expose your therapy. Put yourself in that uncomfortable position. And when you do feel those uncomfortable feelings, you do a self-assessment and you ask yourself, what's the worst thing that could happen? You know, is there a threat to my life, a threat to my safety? If not, then live in the moment and to apply mindfulness and to anticipate a positive experience that's going to happen out of it. And then for every event, you keep a diary, a pleasant event diary, noting what happened, how did I cope with it, did I let go of my worries, was, what was my state of mindfulness, was it a pleasurable experience, so you can go review it. So I decided instead of documenting by um, paper to do videos and make a YouTube channel about it. So I've always had, yeah, I've always had an attraction to women's feet and there are other guys as well, of course, that have attractions to women's feet. But there's some guys who are afraid to talk to women about that or bring it up because they anticipate something negative will happen or a negative reaction. So my videos are designed to I interview random strangers to see how you feel about women, you know, how, how they feel about their... That's the whole channel? That's the whole That's channel. Crazy. Yeah. That's so awesome. I've... I've interviewed hundreds of women so they can apply coping ahead to see how guy, how different women react. So what do you think about that? That's cool. cool. I mean, everyone has like their preference uh, of like what they like. Yeah. So I, how do you think, can I ask you a question? Sure. Um, how do you think that you, uh, like when did you first notice that you had that or like you started to like, like you know, read and mm -hmm. like do you know, is there something that happened when you were a kid? Yeah. Like, yeah? Yeah, I remember. I just had, I interviewed a therapist the other day. Yeah. And she asked me the same question. Well, I should be a therapist. Yeah. <laughs> she asked me the same question. She's like, you know, when did it start? Because they always like to know why, you know. What, and when I was four years old, um, there was a realtor over. My mom had a realtor over. And I was playing under the table. And she had her feet there. And I saw her feet. And they were, I thought they were beautiful. I was like mesmerized by them. So I went up to them and started smelling on them and kissing on them and she was shocked but that was the first memory I have yeah yeah okay. four. Wow, four yeah oh, yeah wow. four years old you just like that. yeah I mean I just remember that experience I remember yeah. vividly when that happened that's the first memory that I have so would you say you like feet more than uh no 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 I look like all together all together oh. but um you know, I became a foot photographer a couple years back before. Yeah, so I was like, you know what, let me incorporate this into my YouTube channel I'm talking about. Because there's a market out there for it, you know? Yeah, I only made like 500 bucks. <laughs> really? For your photos? Was, but was that from one photo? Uh, one photo at one time, it was like 100. Really? So you ever thought about being a foot model? Like doing it like as a side gig no. full time? Why not? Because it's like, um, it doesn't, like, I feel like it brings like a... Uh, a different like energy that I don't want. Like, oh. Like, turn on weird stuff, like, and then they want more. And yeah, like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. But um. Okay. That's why I. I mean, I don't have like my friend. He's like, he's like, can, can I take yours and your friend's pictures and start like making money? I was like, maybe. <laughs> it's a lucrative business, yeah. you know. Can we see what your feet look like close up? I have sand on them. No problem. Uh, Okay, both of you, can you get your feet out there too? What do you think? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts on the interview so far? It was good. How many videos do you have? On my YouTube? Yeah. Close to 300 now. Wow, do you yeah. have like a following? Of 34,000. Yeah. Do you want to help me with my channel? Yeah, if, you, if it's about, I mean, if you incorporate feet into it. <laughs> incorporate feet. Can, if I could have you like as a regular on my channel. You know? Yeah. And then you can... What's your channel about? What's your stuff? What's your uh, content? Boxing. Boxing? So you're an athlete? Yeah. 
Okay, so it's about physical health, right? Well, it's like about um, just like training. Can y'all do this while we're talking? Yeah. Can you take your sh shoes? Uh -huh. Or yeah, take your shoes off and put your feet out. There you go. <laughs> Both feet out. Like this? Souls, like her, like her, like her, like her. Me or? Both of you. Oh, what are you doing? Why don't you want to show your souls? And what's the worst that can happen? Nothing, because nothing's happening. I'm self-conscious about the bottom of my feet. still want to show it to you. Why are you self-conscious about it? Because this is, this is important. This is the important mental health aspect. Because I have injuries to my toes, and it makes rough patches on the bottoms of my feet. I grew up... Mm -hmm. um, we couldn't afford shoes. So okay. I have one pair of shoes for the whole year. What? Yeah. And my mom is five feet. Four foot nine, I'm the tallest in my family. Four like foot nine. To really? How tall are you? Five foot four. Five foot five four. Foot five. Okay. I'm like five foot four three. Okay. Four. Alright. Like check that to DMV. But <laughs> because I got hand me downs and like like the bottom of my feet was like really bad. Mm -hmm. So I was on medication as a child. Mm-hmm. And I was on a horse medicated on Ritalin. Okay. And back in the nineties they just put everybody on it. Yeah. Still. Yeah. But it caused me a lot of inflammation. On your feet? Yeah, so I was a size 8 until I turned 30. And I just was praying, like, God, please help me figure out how to heal all my nerve pain and my inflammation. I had a lot of issues. I was starting to slur my speech because mm -hmm. is, you know, affects the brain. Yeah. So I was really losing my mind and I felt like I just couldn't hang. And some girl came into my life with essential oils. Mm -hmm. And I've been taking essential oils for like the past five years every day. And now from a size eight, I'm a size six and a half. That's how much inflammation I've wow. been around since I was a teenager. Wow. Yeah. You went down two sizes. Yeah, but ever since then, I, you know, my pinky toes have gone inward mm -hmm. because I had to wear small shoes. Okay. So I have these rough patches on the bottom of my feet to compensate for wow. my so, have you looked into reflexology? No. You know what it is? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Like the pressure points on your feet to help out. All right. So you have your self-conscious about your feet. Would you? Would you say? <laughs> would you say? <laughs> okay. So you're self-conscious about your feet. Would you want to feel more better and happier about yourself about your feet? Yeah, I'd like my pinky toes to straighten. Mm -hmm. So I don't have these rough patches on my feet. Okay. So, so you have rough patches on your feet. Yeah. Can I see them without showing the without putting them on camera? No. no? Okay. No. All right. No. Okay. No. <laughs> she said no. No. Okay. Well, you can have your feet out. So tell me about your boxing channel. My boxing channel. Yeah. Um, I just went pro. Okay. And so my next fight will be professional, uh -huh. have like 13 amateur fights. So I wanted to show like, uh, just it's not gonna be just about boxing. It's about like my whole life. Like I'm a cosmetology, uh, uh, ass like I assistant. I assist and I teach boxing. Mm -hmm. Just like hang out, go to the beach, go to different places and stuff like that. Okay. So it's probably gonna be like motivational and inspiring. Uh, I guess like. To, you know, for people to, to do what they love and, and um, you know, challenge themselves, uh, <laughs> love themselves, you know, just to be authentic, like on the channel, like I just wanted to be just me and what I do kind of thing and just to, so like you could have fun and make money off what you love to do, you know. What's the name of your YouTube channel? Spitfire Rising. Spitfire Rising, okay. Spitfire, yeah. Can That's you wiggle your toes? Wiggle, wiggle wiggle yeah <laughs> yeah like what that. do you think i'm a magician <laughs> <laughs> so, like, I don't oh, you <laughs> so it's going to be like a lifestyle channel then with boxing <laughs> yeah okay very interesting can i touch your feet um <laughs> what do you mean like, can i touch them uh <laughs> okay uh, yeah okay all right so, let me see. <laughs> it's awkward now? Why? Why is it awkward? Do you like foot massages? Okay, okay, you can stop. Huh? I 
I do, but not in public and like not random. <laughs> really? <laughs> and not on camera. What's the worst that can happen? I mean, you're a YouTuber, right? I'm gonna be, but I mean, yeah, I am. I'm gonna like, check filming. his channel, see if he's legit. I've been filming a bunch of shit, but I haven't um, posted anything yet. Mm -hmm. I know, right? I'm like, okay, yeah. now everyone's gonna see my feet before yeah. they see my channel. Isn't that a good thing? I mean, don't you want exposure? I mean, look, social media, you know, there's good and there's bad with it. Yeah. Like, you know, like when you were selling the photos, you know that there's weird people out there. So, I, I mean... I was selling it to people. I was just, it just like... Random people, people right? Like, like on the internet. I know, they just asked and I was like, I was low on cash at the moment. So, I was like, oh, I yeah, see. sure. Okay. And then it's just like a normal picture and all the Okay. <laughs> Can you scrunch your toes down? Scrunch it? Yeah, like that. That's my favorite pose. <laughs> okay, okay. So, you keep saying, like, okay, so are you feeling uncomfortable right now? Yeah. Why? Because I don't want to embarrass myself. I told you that about the whole feet thing, and then now I'm like, you know? Okay, but I mean, is anything bad happening? What's the worst that could happen? I'm trying to understand. The embarrassment. Yeah. So, can you anticipate something positive happening rather than something? What's your YouTube name? We gotta make sure. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, what you Scouting sessions. I don't even know. Who? Scouting <laughs> sessions. Sure. She's like, let's I'm check this out guy out. Friend. Make sure where where okay. this going. <laughs> Being consistent and how many things yeah. do you post like? Every day. Every day you post one? Every day. Every day. Every day. And the content. We like women that are just like, you know, who are just gonna yeah. not look at it as a being weird or strange or anything, but but then seeing the other side is good as well. <laughs> but I mean, hey, if you're going to be a YouTuber, like yeah. your personality it has to be your personality has to shine through, you know. Yeah. So So uh about this interview, about this experience, what did you think about it from beginning to end? Interesting. 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 It was good. Um, just... What about you over there? You've been kind of quiet. It's good. You have me thinking about reflexology. I'm like, sure, I'm reflexology. Yeah. Okay. Is there anything about the interview that could have been better? Do you have any recommendations? Any modifications? Refinements? That's it? Alright. Oh, I forgot to ask you. What do your feet smell like? What do they smell like? Yeah. <laughs> Probably grass and sand now. They smell good. They smell good? Yeah, even though I boxed today and I didn't shower yet. <laughs> Can I smell them? Uh, no. No? Why not? Because I'll feel uncomfortable. You'll feel uncomfortable. <laughs> okay. Like, feet, is, like, it is sensitive. It's not like, have you seen that movie, uh, Pulp Fiction? Uh-huh. You know how they're, like, talking about, uh, giving up Pulp Fiction? Yeah, yeah. yeah that one's like, oh, it's nothing, um, big. It's not, like, a big deal. And yeah. And the other one's like, oh, they'll kill you over it. Yeah, it's, so I you're one of those. Like, like, yeah, like, <laughs> you think it's a big deal? I mean, if, if I send a picture, that's whatever. But if someone's, like, touching it or, like, or, like, feeling it, that's, like, somebody special kind of thing. Even though it's just me. So, yeah. That's so in this moment right now, me giving you a foot massage, you would anticipate something negative happening out of it? I mean, it, it wouldn't, like, yeah, it's yeah. not like negative, I don't anticipate negative, it's not like about negative or positive, it's just about, like, you know, like, you know, like who it is and the whole thing, like the concept, you know? But like the concept of me being a stranger, massaging your feet right now in this moment. Mm -hmm. Um, and, uh, what else? It's like, not like intimate, it's not like, oh, yes. yeah. if it's like a sentimental, like, you're with somebody and then you do it, then it's like, that's a, that's like a, that's a positive. But uh. if it's not, then it's like, it's like, you know, like, you, you know, if you go and, like, slap somebody's ass or something like that, they'll feel uncomfortable, right? You compare a foot massage to getting your ass slapped yeah. with no consent? Yeah. 
Wow, okay. And what about you? You feel the same way? You think I the same feel, way? Like it's, I feel a little bit exposed and vulnerable. Okay. And I think about, like, I would want it by someone that I love and trust just because I'm very particular with who touches me and my mm. energy. Mm -hmm. I'm extremely particular. We, we always talk about having the deal of narcissists and, like, you know, yeah. so I'm like, I'm not saying that you are one. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying I'm very protective of myself mm -hmm. because of previous narcissistic experiences. So now when, you know, touch is really important to yeah. me. It's really symbolic, you know. So I'm, I'm extremely protective. Whether it's good or bad, I'm just like that. Because of previous experiences. Yeah, because previous experiences teach you for the journey ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. Very interesting. All right then. Well, any parting words again? What? Any parting words? Uh, parting words. Yeah. Say All right. Peace out. Thank you very much. Okay. I've seen before, okay, yeah. <laughs> you enjoy your vacation? Yeah, yeah, it was fun. Okay. How's your day going? Good, how's yours? <laughs> oh yeah, happy to do this with you as well. Do you all want to be interviewed or what? I'll be in it, do you want to join? Sure. You'll do it this time? Yeah. All right, awesome. Sorry, it was my first day in town. Really? First hour. really? Yes. Oh, there's like, so much happening. Where are you from? Indiana. Indiana? Okay, well welcome to Cali. Welcome to SoCal. Would y'all mind sitting on the grass? Yeah. Uh, cool. Let me make sure that it's... Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Let me see. I'll get this backdrop. I'll so, face in the ocean? Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's have y'all face in the ocean. Oh. Okay. Let me see. Scooter's there. All right. I told you what it was about last time, right? Um, you said something about our feet uh, and mental health. And mental health. Yeah. Yes. All right. Perfect. Let's do this. This will be about ten minutes. Okay. Right. Yeah. Look at it. It's cyclical. She was just like, "Okay, if we find him again, we'll do it." Next day. <laughs> awesome. And then it came. I'm sorry. I'm just overwhelmed. <laughs> How are you liking it so far? I love it. You but love I it? Today. Yeah. Oh, really? Is your last really day? I'm proud. I the first hour and the last hour of the trip. So. <laughs> All right. So awesome. You'll be immortalized on YouTube now. And mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. All righty. You ready? Sure. Sure. All right. Don't, don't know. I'm a face yeah. You look great. Okay. Let's do this. All right. So, how do we get to this moment just now? How do we get here? Yeah. Oh, on the grass. Yeah, healthy bodies and mindsets that brought us to California. Right. <laughs> now I saw you two what, like two days ago? Yeah. And I asked before, you. I yeah. think it was, might have been four or four yeah. yeah. Right. And uh, so what's well, why are we here? Why are we here right now? Sure. Well she's here vacation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's her birthday tomorrow. Happy birthday. Yeah, she's Thank out here you. living it up. Yeah. yeah. She has husband, two kids at home and got a little getaway and got to the Okay. Yeah. You out here chasing your dreams. Are you yeah, a native? I'm a singer. Say again. You're a native here? No, no, I just moved here two months ago. I'm from oh, okay. Well. From, oh, okay. Yeah. So how are you liking it? It's wonderful. It's, it's wonderful. It's everything that I needed and more. You know, after a year of quarantine and just realizing that our life isn't fully within like the plans that we, you know, set out for us, um, I decided to take the reins a little bit. We're like, you know what? If I'm going to be anywhere in quarantine, I'm going to be at a beautiful spot. I'm going to be a paradise. Okay. And you and you're a singer. I'm a singer. Okay. Do you have a YouTube? Um, no YouTube. I need to get on that though. So yeah. I technically I do. It just has like two videos on it. Okay. <laughs> I recommend. Me on Instagram. I recommend YouTube. Okay. Okay. So, I'll do it. I'll do it. what's this YouTube or what's this interview about? It's about feats and mental health. Right. Yeah. Exactly. How do you two feel about the subject matter? Uh <laughs> 
Um, I mean, I think that that is the foundation of who we are as human beings. Uh -huh. you know, I think that we have to find a healthy balance of what, like our confidence, our ego, all of that stuff. Finding yeah. that line of, I can achieve this and accomplish this for okay. my own sense of validation and, I don't know, human ability, capabilities, you know? Yeah. Um, but at the same time, not being overwhelmed or feeling less than or feeling like I have to diminish my um, my abilities like everything that I've been given the gifts that we're provided with so okay yeah, it's, it's fun we were actually having this conversation last night about how you know the mental health that we have and how it doesn't have to hinder us from chasing our dreams mm -hmm. and doing the things that we ultimately want to do okay and it's like no matter what your mental health is, it's, it's there to help guide you and become the person that you are truly meant to be. Okay. How, into your worthiness. Yeah. Okay, how do you feel about the subject matter being about your feet as well? Huh? Your feet. Oh, it's literally feet. Yeah. Oh, I thought it was talking about like feet, <laughs> like things we've accomplished. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there oh. we go. And you we're didn't... back on track. <laughs> okay, you thought I was mean like F E A T. Yeah. No, no, no. F E E T. -E -E <laughs> yeah, I'm a foot photographer. You are a foot photographer. Yeah. Fascinating. Oh. <laughs> Mental health and feet. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Okay, we're tracking now. <laughs> so, feet. Yeah. Fascinating. I mean, obviously, with feet, they, they get us around. Like, or, so, they're how we travel. Okay. Everything part of us. And I think there's a lot of people who who sit on the um, like acupuncture side of it, right? Like if um, all the pressure points that are in our feet, they regulate some kind of system. Some Reflexology. Kind of in our body. Yeah. yeah. So if we go there, just like feet are essential to our health. Okay. Know, oh, definitely. Definitely. Okay, let me give you some background. Yes, please. And set the <laughs> foundation to get some clarity. All right, so do either of you have therapists? Say again. Do either of you, yes, you have no. therapists? You have one? <laughs> okay, so... My therapist actually gave me, um, or she actually taught me DBT, Dialectical Behavioral Therapy. Are you familiar? Okay, so let's say you have a fear of something, like a fear of approaching strangers or a fear of meeting new people. It gives you anxiety. So let's say, okay, this is what DBT teaches you. It this is what DBT advises you to do, to go out and actually approach people. Even though you don't want to, yeah. over and over and over and over and over <laughs> again, okay? It's like, it's exposure therapy, right? right? And then when you start to feel those uncomfortable feelings, which you're going to feel, you do a self-assessment and you ask yourself, okay, is this life-threatening to myself right now? Is this a threat to my life, a threat to my health? If not, then you apply what they call opposite action, which is to act opposite to what those negative feelings want you to do so those negative feelings want you to withdraw and not approach the person and not talk to the person instead of withdrawing you engage and then you anticipate a positive outcome you think positive you think that something pleasurable is going to happen from this experience and then um, you cope with whatever the outcome is and then after it's done you keep a diary of what happened you say okay this is how I felt about it was I mindful in this activity was I living in the moment um, was it a pleasurable event? Was it a pleasurable experience? Did I let go of my worries and concerns? And then, um, yeah, and you just keep doing that over and over again. So I decided to, instead of document it by paper, to document it by, vid by video and to make a YouTube channel about it. Now, that's the mental health aspect. Now, the feet thing. F-E-E. <laughs> yeah, F-E-E-T. Okay, I'm a man has, who has always had an attraction to women's feet. And there are other guys out there as well who have attraction to women's feet as well and there are some guys who are maybe anxious or kind of like withdrawn about telling women that because of the association that it might be considered weird or strange so my youtube channel just documents me interviewing different women to see what your reaction to is to it to see you know whether the woman is open to it or close to it because dbt also teaches about coping ahead of time to see, okay, well, these are the behaviors you can expect and anticipate from different women to see. So they can watch the videos and see, okay, I can see how different women feel about the subject matter. So, so instead of just, like, getting a girlfriend and just, like, nurturing that. Mm -hmm. okay. But, I mean, 
we're yeah we're starting with the elemental stuff. So. Women are different. So you can get a girlfriend and she might just be repulsed by it, and then yeah. your your frame of reference to that is that all women are just repulsed by guys that like women's feet. But when you see a whole a wide variety of different women who are somewhere open and somewhere closed, yeah. you can say, okay, well, I'll look for this type of woman. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see what I mean? Yeah. So what do you think about that? I honestly think it's a personal preference type thing. Uh huh. Uh, really, honestly, it doesn't bother me, but. I'm also in a very committed relationship. Mm -hmm. I'm married with two kids, and it's like if somebody, if my husband told me that, that I'd be like, okay, that's fine, we'll do it. Mm -hmm. um, we'll just go about it. Like, that's I, the partner should be signed up for. Right? Exactly, <laughs> and I, I just think it's really just a personal preference and how open the person is. Yeah. Because if they're a very closed-minded type of person, and I don't want to say this because it may come off wrong, but they might not be as open about it. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I feel like somebody who is more open to all different types yeah. is more accepting, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. And if they're the right person, then they're yeah. going to want to nurture whatever passions you have, you know? Exactly. So it's not right. something that should be like shunned or shamed in any way. It's something that's just like, oh, this is something that you're into, and I'm into you, and I want you to be pleased in this relationship. Right. You know, it's interesting. I met a woman who was like um, completely closed off to that aspect. She said, I wouldn't even let my husband do anything with my feet. She said, I would, yeah, she says, like, because I was, I was like, okay, so I know you wouldn't let a stranger do anything with you if you were a friend, but what about your husband or significant other? She's like, nope. And then, yeah, I was shocked by that as well. And then I met another woman who said, well, you shouldn't communicate that to, to strangers. You know, if you're gonna, if you get, like you said, if you have a girlfriend, you can communicate that, and you shouldn't do it right off the, and you shouldn't do it right away as well. She said, yeah. you know, you should wait like, you know, months or whatever into the relationship, and then once you're comfortable with each other, you should reveal it. And then I said, well, because I'm actually opposed to that. I'm like, you know, I'm gonna let you know up front, yeah. like from I'm the beginning, you, front, yeah. you know, because yeah. I, I don't want to waste my time and I don't want to waste your time. Exactly. Cause she was like two months. I was like, well, imagine like we're in a relationship for two months, and then I finally revealed to you, you know, I want to play with your feet, and she's like completely repulsed by it, yeah. you know. And now, now there's friction in the relationship. Like I, as a good man, I feel like you know I just wasted my time with this yeah. woman for two months because that's something that I really enjoy, and now I wasted my time, I wasted your time, and, you know. So you, that would be like a deal breaker. A line for you. Absolutely. You you. Yeah. I mean, I mean, put yourself in my position. Let's say you like I think something, it goes both ways. right? You know, at the end of the day, like we, we should all be flexible with that, you know, mm -hmm. like with whatever people's interests or disinterests are. Yeah. But it's, it's fascinating to hear that. Yeah, but see, I believe in communicating your wants and desires up front yeah, from the, from the get-go, yeah. you know, so that there's no misunderstanding or, you know, time. I just don't want to waste time. I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time, you know? Yeah, so, so even if it's somebody that you really love in every other aspect. Well, I mean, that wouldn't even develop until we first establish what do you want and what do I want yeah. from the from the beginning. Yeah. And I feel like I feel like those. Uh, I feel like I personally like upfront and clear mm -hmm. the best. Like ultimately, tell me. Yeah. Exactly, and I'll be working towards it. It's like I'm I'm a very straightforward person in mm -hmm. the first place, so. I just feel like knowing it before anything ever happens. It's like, okay, well, this is what I can expect. This is what I know, yeah. and you know what you're getting yourself into, to right? Forward, mm -hmm. I feel like, yeah. I, I guess the the way that I kind of operate is just if I am with a person and we are building that sense of comfort and like figuring out our compatibility, mm -hmm. um, then yeah, then we'll both want to try new things or you know and figure out like what feels good for both of us together, you know, and I think that comes in a million different ways, whether it's your feet or, mm -hmm. whether it's, you know, the different things you bring into the bedroom or whatever it is, yeah. you know, like the, that, those are the conversations that you have to have within that relationship. Do you feel comfortable, like, letting people know up front, like, what it is that you like and desire, like, straight off the bat? I, I, I enjoy <laughs> the discovery, actually. So that's why okay. I'm just like that's a deal breaker. That, I, that would never be a deal breaker for me. Just really? Because I, I enjoy the discovery. Yeah. What do you mean by discovery? So like, 
learning that person's like interest and whatever as they get comfortable and as they unveil it. You know, it's like a yeah, layering thing. So that wouldn't be a deal breaker for you if you wanted something. If you if you found out that, or well, not found out, if you communicated to your significant other that you wanted something from them and they couldn't deliver it to you. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I guess once again, that's from where I operate. It's just I don't want to expect any out of it I want to whatever comes out of the relationship comes yeah and so it's just like I'm very open to just seeing what we decide to, to explore instead of it being I have to get this or they're no longer the person that I want to be with uh, I don't know I'm not that person yeah because because I, I, I want to see the complexity of them because there's going to be we evolve right like mm -hmm. we're, our interests are constantly fluctuating and then plus like depending on our age or our health or whatever we're, we're going to want different things sexually, physically, emotionally. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I want somebody I can evolve with. Okay, so you're saying that, like, um, you think a person can eventually change? Say again. You're saying that a person could change? I, I'm not going to expect them to change, mm -hmm. but I want to be open and hold that space if they do change. And they say, hey, actually, I don't want that anymore. And I'll be like, you know what? I didn't realize that that wasn't good for you. And then we can respect that. Okay, very you know interesting. So how do you two, well, you already actually mentioned it. How do you feel about a guy who's in the feet? Again. How do you feel about a guy who's in the feet? You're in the feet, you're in the feet, you know? It's just like people who are into boobs, breasts, arms, you know, all of that stuff. It's just, it, it's just a part of our anatomy, and it comes with the, the physicality of the relationship, right? Like, my feet come with my face, with my hair, with all of it, you know? So gotcha. I, I think it's things to explore. It's all our, right. It's our body. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Can we see what your feet look like close up? I mean, they look rough today. <laughs> I thought it was F-E-A-T, okay? <laughs> it's all about living in the moment. Huh? I said it's all about living in the moment. Living in the moment. Yeah. Interesting. I don't know. Do I feel confident with my feet today? How close are you going to be? How close Very do I close. show you? <laughs> he said very, very close. Very yeah. close, yeah. You know, I, I got to get all the angles and the... Put these foot out. Put I these feet out. I just want to rub my feet and give them some love because they're going to be seen in a way that I'm not used to them being seen. So I want them to know, I love you. And even with our insecurities, it's okay. <laughs> That's good. You give me your feet and give a massage. How do you maintain your feet? How do I maintain my yeah. feet? Just like in health wise? Like do you get pedicures? you go to salons? And uh, They ruin your nail? Yeah, they strip them, and so they've been like peeling and just like... Really? Yeah, yeah. And I'm a dancer, so I have so many scars on my You want some lotion? Huh? You want some lotion? Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you got some, that'd be great. Oh. I thought this was F-E-A-T, man. I don't know how to feel. Thank you. It's hand cream, but I guess you can use that for feet as well. I said it's hand cream, but you can use that for feet as oh, well. Sure. So what do you all think about this interview so far? The experience? I would have preferred you have been up front <laughs> with the FEET. I think that would have helped kind of like set my mind in the right place for this. Yeah. Okay. What do you mean up front? Um, so like when you said like feet and mental health, mm -hmm. I think, you know, giving a better explanation of what that meant. Okay. Before you jumped straight into, okay, we're recording. What does this mean to you? Like, okay, feet and mental health. Cool. But we were completely off track, you know, like. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of want to do that just to see if you're able to be in the moment and be flexible with it. Yeah, to see if you're able to cope with it and actually apply some DBT. So is that something you do a lot? This or, type of stuff? Well, the whole, uh, are, are other women confused with the... No, no, no. Um, when I talk, I mean, there was only probably one other woman who thought it was F-E-A-T uh, out of like the 200 women I've interviewed. Oh, wow. Yeah, so... I still... <laughs> I think that it's a very logical uh, understanding of the word feet. Because I don't know, I don't usually put the two together. Yeah, it's yeah. It's like feet and mental health together. Yeah. Yeah. Like feet and mental health. Most women are like, my feet? Yeah, I'm like, yeah, your bare feet. Yeah. You ready? Are those feet ready now? <laughs> they prepped? We can still work it up. Let me, let me get the confidence there. I don't know yet. What about you? Are you comfortable showing your feet? Like mm -hmm. I've gotten blisters and everything, so I don't think 
like I'm comfortable right now, though. No worries. Sorry. No worries. Yeah. What size shoe are you? I'm a ten and a half. Ten and a half? How tall are you? I'm five ten and a half. What is my height doing with my feet? <laughs> that seems like a good size ten, five ten. Some guys like big feet, some guys like little feet. It depends on the symmetry. But I see, it looks like you have Egyptian toes. Say again. It looks like you have Egyptian toes. What does that mean? If your big toe is longer than the rest of your toes. That's Egyptian toes? That's Egyptian. Yeah, I don't know. Sometimes I think this one's bigger than the big one. The second toe is longer? Yeah. That's Greek. That's Greek. Yep. That looks kind of cool. Nice. Alright, I'm going to stand up. You're gonna stand up. I am. I'm gonna stand up. I feel strong. I feel grounded. I feel embodied by it. So if you show my feet, I will be strong in my mountain pose. <laughs> Come closer to me. So let me see. Yeah, you look like you have Greek. I got Greek feet. Yeah. And what does that tattoo say? Come with me. Come with me? Come what may. What may. Come what may, what does that mean? It means whatever happens. It means me and my sister and my mom, we got each other no matter what, you know? Okay. We all got the same tattoo. Oh, really? On the same foot? Uh, me and my mom, my eldest sister did, and then my other one got it on her ribs, another one got it behind her ear. Okay. Face this way. You look like you have a nice arch. Okay, lift one hill up again like you did before. What'd you say? Lift one hill up. There you go. Lift the other hill up. Alright, this is a little bit more... Okay, I think I'm done. Really? Yes. Have a seat. Tell me why you think you're done. Um, yeah. I you feeling uncomfortable? I think one video is fine, but now you're trying to get all the different... Yeah, I think I would prefer this to happen in a way that gives women the chance to like love on their feet first I don't know because right now I just kind of feel like yeah it's just extra exposure it's like, extra exposure um, I don't know yeah like what is it called like an opportunist type of thing that's what I'm nervous with that's like what do you the mean? words that are coming up to me huh opportunist like you're taking this opportunity to satisfy whatever foot thing you have right now Okay, so what's the worst that could happen from something like that? Um, nothing. I just, if I don't feel comfortable in this moment right now saying yes to it, then I'm going to be like, nah, I'm good. So, so you don't see this as... I betray myself and allow myself to be uncomfortable by something that I'm not really wanting to do, you know? Okay, so you're saying this is not like a pleasurable experience, it's not a positive experience for you? No, I think you'll probably get more pleasure out of it than I will. <laughs> you're not getting any pleasure out of this at all? No, no. no? I mean, I think... What I am doing, just mm -hmm. like you were talking about, D DT. DBT. DBT, thank you. Um, yeah, there's so many people who I've met out here. I've been out here for two months. Uh -huh. So much connection and so much community orientation. So I was like, hoping, I was like, oh, this will be cool. Just another way to like branch and connect and find mm -hmm. this. But yeah, but I think, uh, yeah, it's very vulnerable. It's asking a lot. And then it's also will be on your YouTube page. So this is more than just us having a connection. This is you literally documenting my personal anatomy. <laughs> okay. And that's a new experience for me. So. All right. Well, then, wrapping things up, what did you think about... Okay, I already kind of asked you, but I'll say it again. From beginning to end this interview, what did you think? What are your thoughts concerning it? Any thoughts? Yeah, I, I, concerns? I would love for you to be more upfront. Obviously, this is me giving criticism, but I don't know. No, that's good. That's what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I would love for you to be up more upfront. Um, so that what as women do, there are a lot of women who don't enjoy their feet at all, and so this could be triggering for them. Mm -hmm. So, but for you though, yeah, not other women. For you, personally. Well, I think you know the fact that I at one point I had to say stop. I think that was me hitting a trigger. That was me being like, oh, I don't know what he's gonna do with this video afterwards. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that is, you know, and. Though those thoughts aren't helpful, mm -hmm. right? Like, that's just mind stories of me, like, what if, what if, what if. Um, it's still something that feels real right now because mm -hmm. I have that emotion going internally within me. Mm 
Okay, what are your observations and feelings of this whole... Um, I honestly, personally, mm -hmm. maybe, um, I didn't realize that it was actually feet, feet, mm -hmm. and like, I'm not as comfortable with my feet, yeah. just because like, I do get calluses, I do get stuff, and that's like, I, so that's why I didn't show it off, because right. like, I didn't feel like my feet were up to par, Okay. And I feel like it, on the spot, documenting, like you are right now, mm -hmm. it can be good with some people, but like, I don't get pedicures ever. Okay. I don't, I don't take care of my feet like that. Mm -hmm. like, I rarely lotion them. Mm -hmm. So, I'm just like, as somebody who doesn't do all that, mm -hmm. I wouldn't have felt comfortable showing it. Okay. And I wouldn't have on the spot. Did you at any point feel uncomfortable for your friend when she was mm -hmm. showing off her feet? Um, a little. Yeah. Uh, you did? Why? I feel like, so, that can be a very intimate thing. Okay. It's like, I know it's just feet. Mm -hmm. People are like, oh, it's feet. We show them off with the sandals and everything. But it brings other people pleasure. And the fact that you don't know who it can bring pleasure just by looking at the feet is kind of um, odd, yeah. if that makes sense. It's odd? Well, it's, 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 it's yeah, it's, it's like a step thing. back and it's like, yeah. oh, who, okay. And it's like, I don't have a problem with people who are, who who have feet fetishes. I really don't. It's mm -hmm. just, it's just kind of like, I don't know. It's, yeah. it's a little weird. Well, I mean, the fact that it is a quote unquote fetish, you know, it, it it applies or it like implies like a sexual kind of nature to it right yeah. and so at the end of the day like for me I'm just like okay when I'm having sex or whatever that is a personal thing between me and that person you know just like I was saying earlier like it, it's a relationship that you build you know mm -hmm. that you feel comfortable with and so yeah we haven't built that comfort right and so I'm showing you my feet and I'm like wait He's gonna, you know, there's pleasure that's gonna happen out of mm -hmm. this, but I, we're, we're also, I have no idea who you are, what mm -hmm. your intention is, and yes, you, you know, you seem like a decent human being, and I don't think, I don't know, I, I don't know, I, I can't speculate to anything more than what. So you two, it seems like you two take issue with bringing random people pleasure. Is that what you're saying? Um, yeah. People, yeah, yeah. Okay. And it's not even an issue. It's more of a, um, I like the thing. Like having that intimacy between the two of us. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. All right. So, is there anything about the interview that could have been better? Any modifications I should make? Do you have any suggestions or refinements that could be um, that I can make? I maybe like if if you're going to ask a woman and sh ask to show their feet, I would ask before the interview because mm -hmm. then they can be like, oh, okay. Um, do I feel confident in my feet right now? Mm hmm Okay. Because yeah. it's like, well, it may not be as big of a deal to other women. Mm hmm It could be to a lot of women. Okay. And I guess if you're trying to, like, get that shock and scare out of people, I think that's the, that's alarming to me, right? Because you're trying to make us vulnerable. You're putting us in a position where we will be vulnerable, and it's intentional. So it's just mm -hmm. at the same time, like, do I want to be done, like, feel these feelings from a complete stranger? Is mm -hmm. that what I want to do right now? Is that me living my best life? I don't know. Okay. So I'll walk away from here feeling like that was interesting. That is something I can write in my experiences out in Long Beach. Will I do it again? I don't know anymore, you know? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you may have, like, stopped me from, like, wanting to be on people's YouTube. <laughs> really? Okay. Like, so, yeah, that might be me. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. Any parting words? Yeah. Any parting words? F-E-A-T is different than F-E-E-T in mental <laughs> health, and it's good to know that. <laughs> All right. And for you, any parting words? Uh, goodbye, California. Goodbye, California. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your stay, and yeah. take care. Appreciate it. Good luck with your singing.